Kogoku Abo Sizubai Foji is my name. Um, I represent the good people of Jinigua, Kulukuma, Upokuma, Fara constituencies. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Bayelsa State. Mr. Speaker, the proponent of this 2024 budget did a good job in some area. Mr. Speaker, looking at the 2024 budget, security, 12.25 trillion is allocated to security. This government identified the serious security challenge in our dear country. Mr. Speaker, I recall that the only area that was safe is the federal capital territory, Abuja here. As we speak, Abuja is also caving in. So, Mr. Speaker, I think that the security architecture need to be rejected. Again, the equipment, the new, new gadget, our security men and women need motivation, welfare. <clears throat> Apart from security, the education, the educational sector, even though it does not meet the UNESCO standard. Mr. Speaker, there is some improvement. Uh, looking at the 2023 budget, but Mr. Speaker, more no resource is the exodus in our, our universities. Mr. Speaker, the academic and non-academic staff are resigning daily. The number is massive. Mr. Speaker, when we ask what is going on, research welfare, security, these are cardinal issues they are raising in our tertiary institutions. Mr. Speaker, one of the good area is the student loan. Mr. Speaker, you recall that most of the students are pulled out from the the university because education is expensive. Hence, the student loan will be able to give them the financial muscle to return to the classroom, Mr. Speaker. I was glad to see the student loan. That is to say, gradual loan will be closing, will be reducing the insurgency. The prison year will gradually reduce with the student loan. Poverty alleviation. I believe that the various schemes that this government has, if well articulated, it will help to reduce the level of poverty in our land. Public private partnership. I also see that this is another measure that will be used to reduce. Uh, to reduce our spending and increase revenue. Mr. Speaker, the human capital development, let me uh, say that, Mr. Speaker, the, the duty of this budget, what Nigerians are saying, that the budget will be beautiful, but there, there is need for we to do more. That often time, Parliament have passed beautiful budget, but Nigerians are asking us. They are saying they have not felt the, 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 the impact, the positive impact of the budget. Each time we come here, we pass good budget, but they don't feel the impact. That they want to see the price of good coming down. They want a robust economy that they can feel, they can touch. These are the yearning of Nigeria. 
Mr. Speaker, when a country, when a country is at crossroad, when a country is at crossroad, it takes parliament to save that country. Mr. Speaker, our dear country is at crossroad. Parliamentarians have rise to their responsibility by carrying out their oversight function seriously. Parliamentarians must be diligent for this budget. Parliamentarians must be very committed to this budget. Parliamentarians must be devoted to this budget. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, posterity will not forgive us if we allow this country to keep intact and God bless all of us.